Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iPhone charging. The best way to charge your iPhone so that you optimize the battery life of your iPhone and get the best out of the battery of your iPhone. There are a lot of myths and of course misconceptions when it comes to charging the battery of your iPhone and how you should keep it in which actually percentages you should charge it and the way to charge it the right way. So in this video, we're going to talk all about that, everything you need to know when it comes to charging your iPhone so that you get a better battery life out of your iPhone. All right, now before we get started, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. And we're starting with the percentages at which you should charge your iPhone and at how much you should charge it now the perfect would be around 25 percent when it goes down to like 20 or 25 percent and then up to 80 percent if you use optimized battery charging on your iphone you know that during the day when you don't need to use your iphone a lot or during the night when you're leaving it on to charge it will only charge at 80 percent and then will only just move to 100 percent when you're actually needed so that's basically like the perfect spot so like 20 to 25 percent up to 80 percent that's how much you should charge your iphone and also charging a few times during the day i do that myself that won't actually hurt the battery of your iphone at all now i'm on and off of work and when i just sit down i just plug in my iphone to charge it might charge like let's say from 40 to 55 percent i unplug it then charge it back another 10 or 20 percent after that so charging your iphone a few times during the day won't actually do any damage to your iphone's battery it will just be way better for the battery than leaving it to just discharge down to zero percent and then charging to 100 percent that's like a full cycle so never leave your iphone to discharge to zero percent i see a lot of people just use their iphone until the battery dies down they think it's better for the for the iphone's battery to actually charge it that way it's not make sure you charge your iphone when it's at least at 20 percent and up to 80 percent that's the best way to charge your iphone next up we're talking about the way you charge your iphone cables and chargers and of course wireless charging so of course the iphone's battery life will be impacted a lot by the battery health of your iphone now if you're using fake chargers that iphone's battery will just drop in health way faster one thing that will contribute to that is of course the temperature that you will get on your iphone's battery when you're charging it with a fake charger you will notice like 90 percent of the time if you don't have a certified charger your iphone's battery will heat up a lot while it's charging and just go ahead and check the battery health right here you can see mine is now at 99 percent but if you should keep this of course as high as possible and one way to do that is always use certified cables or the original cable and charger that you get with your iphone well you don't get a charger but you can get one from apple if you don't have one so again just make sure you always avoid fake chargers or cheap ones that you can get from anywhere maybe like just a gas station or something you can get like a charger for a couple of dollars that will have a huge impact as it will heat up the battery of your iphone now another thing that will heat up a lot your iphone's battery is wireless charging especially if you have a case on your iphone if you use wireless charging there are two things you need to keep in mind your battery will heat up a lot if you if, especially if you have a case and your iphone's battery will charge really really slow now that's not actually a good thing a lot of people think that charging i the iphone slower will just make the i will just keep the iphone's battery in better shape and charging with a fast charger will damage it actually a fast charger won't actually have an impact at all so you can use maybe a charger from your ipad or your mac I use the Mac charger all the time to charge my iPhone's batteries and they're always on great shape. Of course, it will charge them way faster but won't damage the battery at all as a lot of people might think. Next, we're talking about overnight charging. There are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to overnight charging. A lot of people think that they can somehow overcharge their iPhone's battery. It is not pass possible. Of course, the iPhones have the lithium-ion batteries, which are the batteries that you can find on 
any mobile device nowadays and those batteries have a capacity now that capacity is set let's say it's at for 4000 milliamp hours of course as the battery's health drops down and the battery ages it will drop down but when you charge your iphone to 100 percent it actually charges at the maximum capacity so there's no way it can overcharge and of course it is 100 percent safe to keep your iphone charging overnight now the only thing i suggest you do if you're trying to just always leave your iphone charging overnight is that you make sure you have optimized battery charging enabled now you can do that simply by going to your settings go under battery and then make sure you go to battery health right here and make sure you have optimized battery charging enabled now keep this enabled for a few days and if you just always charge your iphone overnight you will notice that this will keep your iphone charged at 80 percent until it's time for you to wake up so let's say you wake up at 7 a.m this will keep your iphone's battery at 80 percent until let's say like 6 30 and then on that time it will charge that extra 20 percent which of course you need during the day so it's always really safe to charge your iphone's battery overnight as long as you have optimized battery charging of course that's not necessary but it will be way better for the long run and of course always make sure that you have a certified charger and cable when charging your iphone now here are a few extra tips and tricks that you need to know first of all if you're trying to charge your iphone faster let's say you need to have as much charge as possible and on, on the least time possible of course you can use a fast charger but if you don't have one what i would suggest you do is enable low power mode now what this will do low power mode will actually restrict a lot of things on your iphone that consume battery that way your iphone is consuming way less battery but it's charging in the meantime and that way it will actually charge faster and another thing, don't use your iPhone while it's charging. Now, there is no problem to actually using your iPhone while charging, but if you just wanna get that extra battery as fast as possible, don't use it because you're consuming battery and at the same time charging your iPhone. So, of course, you won't get the amount of charge that you need and probably that will also heat up the battery of your iPhone. So, if you're using your iPhone while charging, it is okay as long as the iPhone doesn't heat up a lot because if it's charging and you're using something like maybe a heavy graphics game or something like that, that will probably have an impact on the heating of your iPhone. That is always not good for the health of your battery. So if you just want to charge faster, make sure first of all you use a fast charger. Those are, as long as they are certified of course, are perfectly safe and then use low power mode to charge faster also don't use your iphone if you want to get as much charge as possible on the less time possible and last but not least we're talking about charging the iphone using a computer a mac a laptop whatever you have always make sure that you do that when the uh, when the device the other device the mac or the laptop whatever you have is actually turned on if you're just trying to charge your iphone with a mac or whatever that is and it's turned off or in sleep mode it might actually even drain the battery out of your iphone so i use my mac to charge my iphone all the time but of course it's always on and it's charging the iphone that's a great way to charge your iphone especially when you're working something and you don't want to have an extra charger you just get the cable connected to your mac and you're good to go but always make sure that those devices are turned on and not turned off because not only they might not charge your device at all, they might even just drain the battery out of your iPhone. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys found this video informative and liked it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Smash the like button on this one. And I will see you guys on the next video.